to leave, and I pressed the magic button. There are two things this garage door repairman doesn't know. One, we are watching with a hidden camera. And two, the door has a very simple problem. All right, well, let's check it out, see what's going on with it. Will he find it? Before we answer, let us explain why we called him in the first place. The door was banging. If you have a garage, what happened to Dorcas Rupert will at some point happen to you. A really loud bang. What happened next, hopefully won't. She needed a repair company, and Garage Door Services, GDS, had just happened to send an offer to her mailbox. Senior discounts. She was told she needed a new spring. And after that supposed discount, this retired widow paid almost $900. Sound high? Yes, that's very high. Chandler Potts is with Lighthouse Door. He says his company charges less than a third of what Dorcas paid for the same job. 16 foot we also asked him to compare prices other disgruntled GDS customers paid for parts, like the $279 and bearing plate. That's like 30 to $40, depending on the size. A center bearing, 179 That's literally like a $5 part. The markup on this is to the roof. Outrageous. And in the case of Dorcas, the spring replacement didn't fix the problem. Another GDS repairman was sent out. Said I needed a bar. They charged her nearly $300 more. I'm not affluent. I'm on Social Security, a fixed income. Tiffany Hawks also had an encounter with Garage Door Services. Her remotes went on the blink. She typed overhead door Charlotte into Google. It pops up a website that looks like overhead door. But it's not. It's Garage Door Services. She was told the service call would be $39. The repairman tried to charge her $125. After he left, she noticed this sticker and realized she hadn't called overhead door. I got sick to my stomach because then I thought, who are these people? This is not what we discussed over the phone. Wes W.T. Harris. We went looking for garage door services, found an address for them, 580 West W.T. Harris Boulevard. Something's not quite right with that. Clearly, we're not getting their side of the story here. You do service that. Which is why we called the company oh, okay. out to the house of a WBTV producer oh, to see it. how GDS operates. But before we did, how you doing, Ricky? we asked Lighthouse Door to come by and check the system out. The tech gave it all a good look. He said the operator was in good shape functionality of the door itself and it's fine. So we know our system here is working perfectly. For the purpose of this test, all we're going to do is loosen up one wire so the garage door won't close. You service overhead doors. And we made the call. We asked a volunteer to stand in as the homeowner. If there's any way I could get a service he call. He said the service call would cost 39 bucks. Hello. We were able to watch and listen to him work from the kitchen through a hidden camera. Right, well, let's check it out, see what's going on with it. You'll see him walk around, glance at a few things, push a few buttons. Nothing. It took him all of four minutes to come up with a diagnosis. I'm thinking you need a new operator. He never went in the corner where the wire was loose. And the woman, acting as our homeowner, asked this question. Is there something you can check out or anything? Several times. I mean, is there like parts you can look at? Several or? different ways. But that's That's the only thing it could be. Yes, ma'am. And what was this new operator going to cost? $451. Plus 200 more to put it in. Let me think about it. It was time for us to say hello. Jamie Bull from WBTV. Hey, how you doing? How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Good. So you think this has to be replaced, huh? I think so. Did you check down over here? Did I check the, the eyes? Yeah. I sure did. We knew he had. Let's take a look closer. It's just a wire off there. Yep, now it's not on. You're going to charge her for 600 and some dollars for a loose wire. Now, if I'd have found that, no, I wouldn't have. You didn't even look at it. Sure I did. I, I checked the light. I checked the bulbs. Did you look at the wiring? No, I did not. We didn't put in the new opener. We just put the wire back on. The door works fine again. The tech we had was not the same one called out to the other customers we talked to. We did ask ours, though, to have his boss call us. Had a couple conversations with a Jason in San Diego. He wouldn't give me his last name. But he said he wanted to work with the unhappy customers. And we found out late this afternoon the company told Mrs. Rupert they will be sending her a check for $816. By the way, this right here may have showed up in your mailbox recently. It's a coupon for Jimmy's Garage Doors. The phone numbers take you to Garage Door Services. Molly?